Now let's turn to another story, this one having to do with an internal investigation into the late prominent Canadian religious figure and L'Arche founder Jean Vanier. He has been accused of sexually abusing at least six women. This from an internal report from L'Arche. Let's bring in Laura McQuillan right now who is tracking the story. So tell us a bit more uh, about this accusation being made in this internal report. Well, Michael, this just coming out today from L'Arche International and it says in this report it's possible there is more to come out beyond these allegations allegations. I want to show you some of the details uh, from this independent inquiry finding that he sexually abused at least six women between 1970 and 2005. It does not rule out other victims but it does say that they were all adult non-disabled women. That is one detail we have learned from this and I want to read you some excerpts that this report has laid out as well in it saying that these women each report that Jean Vanier initiated sexual relations with them usually in the context of spiritual accompaniment Accompaniment. It said these women, who did not know about each other's experiences, reported similar facts associated with highly unusual spiritual or mystical explanations used to justify his behaviours. And it continued, the relationships were found to be manipulative and emotionally abusive and had a significant negative impact on their personal lives and subsequent relationships. We've seen from this report that these women have had to deal with the aftermath of this for their entire lives. It's also alleged that he knew of abuse by others but denied it during his lifetime. And for anyone unfamiliar with Jean Vanier, a uh, Canadian son of a Governor General set up L'Arche back in the 1960s in France, an alternative living environment for people with disabilities so they can be a part of a community. Uh, it's now operating in 38 countries, 31 locations here in Canada. These allegations, Michael, date back to 2016. A second allegation raised in 2019, shortly before his death in May, when this investigation was already underway. So this is an internal report of the organization, but as you say, this is an international body now, uh, really, that have helped people through generations. So how is the organization itself responding to the findings of this report as it deals with their founder. Yeah, they have really responded with shock to this. They've sent a letter today to uh, the International Federation. I'll read you part of that, Michael, saying they're shocked by these discoveries and unreservedly condemn his actions. They say they're in total contradiction with the values Jean Vanier otherwise stood for. They continue on to say they recognise the courage and suffering of these women and any others who have not spoken up, asking forgiveness for these events that took place in the context of L'Arche, some which were caused by their founder. Uh, they say they're evaluating their policies for keeping people safe. They've up a whistleblowing line. I've reached out to Lash Canada to see if they have any response. Michael, I'll bring that to you when I hear from them. Okay, Laura, thank you for that.